It'll change the religion. Okay, great. You messed with the wrong OPM, dudes. Let's get all our troops back into position. Uh, this is pretty painful, so what I'm going to do is separate the... No, what I'm going to do is merge everyone into a fully formed stack. And then get some mercs on the go. Asian Arc Bizier, I've been told. I've been told to stop calling them Arc Busters, even though that's a really cool name. Oh wow, he's confident. He's coming at me with a 3 1 over a river crossing penalty. Well, tell you what, buddy, you can do just that. It takes till the 23rd and the 24th to get from there, so I'm going to move my spare troops into there so they can arrive even faster. I'll start moving my troops on the 26th of March. Uh, not the 26th, the 16th. Let's not make any more mistakes, Jake. Maybe I'm just playing a bit too fast. Okay. River crossing penalty and terrain penalty. Ah, you have military tech 8. Whereas I am quite a wee bit away from that. No wonder he's confident. Right, let's get some flanking going on, even if it's infantry flanking. More troops arrived. Let's clean this mess up. Now he won't be uh, retreating into a Utah, he's going to be retreating home, so something like that. Meanwhile, it's a shame that he's uh, wrecking me like that. I've got this war with Arissa that's going nowhere. Arissa's going to peace out with Tibet and uh, the Oirat before long, most likely. Arissa. Thankfully, they've they really chewed down their forces, so I should be grateful for that. I should also deal with these rebs, because I don't want that province converted. I will chase down, destroy the rest of Shan, spread out, occupy him. Oh, that isn't good. I won't be defeating you, so I will probably just give in to your desires. What are your desires? Hindu zealots. Hindu becomes the state religion of Ryukyu. Well, that's not going to happen because you're not the uh, majority religion. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want that. I'll defeat you in time, but in the meantime, let's uh, cancel that missionary. Maybe put it somewhere more important. Like Nan. Nan sounds good. 7%. Let's not have that succeed. Let's also get a few more foot troops on the go. At least they're using my technology, rather than uh, Shans, who they're loyal to. Oh, I'm getting so thoroughly hammered in battles right now. I miss my god-tier general. Wow, utterly hammered. Right, Pegu has collapsed. They are now Buddhist. That's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. But it gave them a fresh stack of troops to go fighting with. I severely risk a peasant war at the end of this war if I don't uh, shape up. Again, pretty expensive, but let's get those mercs rolling. Pegu, come on, we need to defeat Sean. Priority one. Attach to me, buddy. Oh, not you, though, no. 
Let's not lose control of this. Alright. Pegu has forced march? Oh, that's right, I released them so they have two completed ideas, defensive and offensive. Onwards. Right, Ayuta is out of the picture. That frees up a bit more troops. Thankfully. Not my most proud war. Gee, I even have the mission to accumulate money. As mission priorities go, that's pretty much the lowest of the low. Right, Chiang Mai, is it? Well, I know it's fighting in jungles. But I fancy my chances. Actually, I could defend in jungle. Huh? All right, well, let's drop off you and you to there. 27th, 28th, 1st. All right, 27th, we change course. Don't have a leader there. Again, not good. But again, not a problem. Good old teleporting generals. Good for all that ails you. <sighs> Not a moment too soon. They have defensive ideas. I mean, they have military drill. 15% extra figures. Okay. Nonetheless, I will survive. How many mercs am I pushing right now, though? That's quite a lot. And the maintenance is heavy going. So much so that I'm going to bin that tiny one. Alright, now we turn the tables. But how? Stop attaching to me. Let's go and finish them off. We'll take back our lands. Fortunately, that's... Yeah, garrison of 1,000 there, so it shouldn't be too hard. Um, please don't sit around doing nothing, Pagu. We need you to help out here. send another 1,000 stack over to take care of this province. <sighs> Although I am making tons of mistakes, I'm really enjoying this. I love it when the game throws a challenge my way. Well, I suppose I kind of walked into the challenge. Again, only one base tax here, and it's two base tax over there. But that means that they're going to run there, because they have no el nowhere else to go. Get that looting going, as we do. Arissa still at war, a war that's going nowhere. And just to be sure, annexing you is 100%, that's good. Leave behind another 1,000. I'd rather keep my mercenaries for the front lines here. Yeah, I know I can save Iron Man saves locally, but I don't. I play on a laptop as well, so I like to keep that as a handy option. Alright, let's 
regrettable. Let's get uh, let's get that done. Got a bad piracy event there. And since the income is hurting a bit here, let's go on a looting spree. Oh, spare no expenses. Free admin power. Yeah. I know I can get it for free, but uh, who knows? I haven't checked the missions file completely, so there's every chance that uh, it might not be as readily available as I, I may think. And that province is already looted. So it's not an option. Gouda, however. Naturally. Wow, Japan's being a real a real trooper. I should be very grateful that they're on my side. By extension. Didn't loot Koch. Bit of a mistake on my part. And you're no longer looted. Well. Hmm, you're no longer at war, though. That could be an issue. Oh my. Rajababa was also, uh, also looted, so I didn't get money from it. That's okay, I'll take loot. From anywhere, anytime. I think viewership has died down, so things are uh, nice and a bit quieter. How many people are currently watching anyway? I've got it covered up in howtoworldconquest.txt Also, it's uh, twice in fast succession I've got this event that's meant to be very rare. Not that I'm complaining. Give it all to me. Two base decks. No, looking in the wrong place here. That's Laotian. I don't actually want it there because I want to culturally convert it, but... Fortunately, that's an option now. Raise those taxes higher. What I'm doing here is I am beginning the culture conversion whilst it only costs me 50 diplomatic points to do. Uh, and then I raise the taxes by 2, which should increase it by two uh, by 50 diplomatic points to do, but because it's already started, it doesn't matter what the province becomes. Are there any other provinces that I could uh, culturally enrich? No, because this one has nationalism 1% for whatever reason. Whew. Right, Orissa want white peace, but that's not happening. Even though I've got abysmal... Um... Ooh, ooh, that isn't good. Hopefully they don't march onto this occupied territory. No, they're more interested in taking their land back, which works out for me. No longer at force limit, nowhere near it in fact. But if I really want to put the boot into you, I'm going to have to raise quite the mercenary army to deal with you. And that I can do. Even though they're fairly garbage units, we will take them anyway. Very expensive, but needs must. Hmm, yeah. Actually, I'm not getting anything on chat. Hold on, I may need to reload it. Just a moment. Twitch, working flawlessly as ever. Okay, if that's the case, then I've just missed 20 minutes worth of comments, so... Uh, Please repost anything that uh, you need it seen. Let's get back to this. Arissa must be absolutely starved for manpower. Only 2,000 with a standing army of 9k, that's okay. There we go, I see ch Oh, fantastic. Spices of Sulu. 
I think it's very low base tax, so I won't be seeing many spices, but I'll be seeing some, and that's that's okay. Right, now I've got a choice here. I can either turn back turn back these uh, rebels or turn back the Arisan army. I can't accept their demands. But they will just spread around, spreading their disgusting religion. Whereas Arissa won't be going anywhere for a while, so I think it may be prudent of me to go and throw my mercenary uh, meat grinders. Or rather, mercenary meat into the grinder. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven on eleven, I'd rather have a bit more than that. Still, we'll get ourselves into Chiang Mai, just to be prepared. I need some of these sieges to finish up so I get some troops ready, though. Buster. Reposted Jake. I think I noticed in the patch notes that they increased the frequency of agricultural but made it so it only doesn't happen more than once. That makes sense. Good change, Paradox. Because I was getting kind of twitchy about them. Uh, I wanted to raise my base tax as high as possible. So it's good to know that I'm actually limited now. Damn, they got the breach. They'll probably take that province and press on. But I'll try to snipe it back. Kachin. Okay, it's all coming together now. Let's deal with our Hindu rebs. Not on your life, my Hindu friend. Jake, can you use the toolbar to check provinces for culture conversions? Yeah, you can. Right here. Nothing, uh, nothing can be done. Uh, you probably want me to spend my dip points. I can't even spend it on uh, reducing war exhaustion. I know that that, uh, that green button does irk quite a few people. All I can say is too bad. Alright, this looks like a good enough army. Ah, I can get Kandesh out of this war. deal with these uh, these Hindus. I'll finish them off, drop off a token force to take care of them, and then I'll annex Shan and deal with... Uh... Oh sweet, this is all going... this is all going great. I know things looked exceedingly hairy earlier, but they're looking alright now. Oh yes, and let's not forget this. I want to conserve my manpower, so I'm going to send in the mercenaries first. The mercenaries will attack with a width of 11, so it'll be 11 against their 11. And then I send in these extra forces, which should be able to flank them quite nicely. So let's see if that works. In fact, let's study it day by day, because, well, the more you learn. So, day one... I discovered that I had my general on the wrong stack of troops, and what I wanted to do happened in reverse. So my main troops take the brunt of the uh, the damage there, while my mercenaries get off scot-free. The game, however, is forgiving and gave me a 9 and an 8 roll in the shock phases, so my troop losses are minimal. Thank you, RN Jesus. In you I trust. I should have been punished more for that. But I got off. Scott free. Right. I quite like the look of you. Let's have you. Missionary strength up. Let's get those conversions going. Let's also consolidate all our troops again. And send a token to to deal with that. Whilst the rest march up to deal with Arissa. Yeah, I can't spend my Diplo points on anything, so uh, bully for you. I'll be spending quite a lot when I annex Sean, though, because I... Oh. I guess I won't. 
It'll be free. That's nice. Right, Sean finished me off, but I can go and snipe that. Jake, your eyes are simply awful. Yes, I know. They really are. I spoke to a guy about getting laser eye surgery. He swore by it. But I don't know. I'd kind of be KO'd for uh, a wee while. Another one bites the dust. Now to go back on the offensive. Jake, can you change your national focus? Thanks for the reminder, but unfortunately, we have no such ability. Now, I want to get this war out of the way quite soon, but on the other hand, I don't want to get too much uh, overextension from annexing all of Shan. I don't think it'll push me over 100%, though, so we shall see how that goes. Still, I really need to press the advantage against uh, Orissa. They've had too many easy victories. Mm, but how, how best do I achieve that when they're s s uh, enjoying those, those troop numbers? Right, what I'll do is not assault that province. There's no real need. be a bit more careful about which provinces I try to convert. Chang Rai. Let's get that one done. Don't want to be converting these provinces because they're only going to benefit Shan, not me. Remember the plan is to annex and release Shan. I don't really have the, the troop numbers to go on a full scale offensive here so I will slip by a little quiet, a little quieter. keeps teasing me with uh, the ability to take that idea, but if I do, that's, it's only going to screw me out. Ass jam taking forever to siege as always. Jake, have you done Aztec Sunset Invasion in a recent version? No, I only did it in, I think, 1.4, and that's on YouTube. It is a snooze fest, although when I land in Aragon it gets a bit exciting. That's about the, about the limit of it. Alright, full annexation, but... I can, if I fully annex Sean, I would get a 15 year truce with a Utah. However, if I peace out with a Utah and then full annex Sean, I'll only have a 5 year truce with a Utah. Of course, I do want all of a Utah's money as well. That'll give us a, a little bit of a, tr uh, a truce time, but not much. Maybe get rid of their alliance? Nah, there's no need. I'll just take the money, thanks. And as I do that. I don't remember you being there. Whoops. Not to worry. Full annexation of Sean gives me 80% overextension. I already have eesh, 24, so I'm going to be subject to uh, those na horrible, uh, horrible events. So we'll sit on these provinces as best we can, which means I really should be going on the offensive. Who is it I'm at war with anyway? Gal War as well. Listen, this war's been going on for a long time, matey. How about we just see a bit of peace? Alright, those are just peasants though, not even worried. Any reason you have no desire to take What was that? Oh man, because we are losing the war, any uh, thing we... That's just harsh. 
Right, got to go on the offensive now, or else Orissa's just going to cost us all of our uh, our stability. For some reason, they're able to force through uh, offers, and if uh, and if we decline, we get a stability hit. It used to be that only happened if they're offering you a uh, forty percent war score less or less, but now, yeesh. All right, I don't want to go on the offensive, but I have to now. never been a better time for this. I need to turn this show superiority around as well. I can do that if I f nail these troops to the wall. Okay, this could cost me a few stability. But it's not something I'm willing to white piece for. There we go. Now the, uh, the things look better now. Still, I should crush their army. It's probably down here. Thanks to my high manoeuvre general, I'm not really going to be chewing on much attrition here. Right, Bengal Delta is a priority. The priority is to take these uh, Bengali lands. So... If I refuse that, that's not going to give me it. Good. It was definitely the... Uh... Oh, finally. This is all starting to look good. Oh, where the... Where in the world is our army? At war with Madurai. Hey, Madurai, how about I help you out there? Just costs you a little bit of military access. Oh, it. Uh, what matters is your opinion of the knights. Yeah, okay, fine. Be that way. Anyway, Orissa have been severely wrecked. Six, yeah, that's. It's looking good for me. Tell you what, we're going to leave a fairly large army there to uh, deal with anything that comes my way. The rest of you, I'm going to siege you up with emphasis on the enemy capital. Let's get this war finished in time for Christmas. Of course, level 3 fort. Well, you know what? A level 3 fort is not worth our time. Chiang Mai. They want to rise up. No interest in fighting. What a shame. Two, uh, two stability was quite nice. Jake, what happens if everyone hates the knights? Then I don't get military access. Simple as that. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five provinces. That's all I need. Nothing more. However, I will probably try to take a little something extra. Maybe maybe this province? This province? Core them? So I can have uh, an area to attack um, India with. Oh, Jesus, Timmy. Looking pretty terrifying there. Also, I need to spend my admin points on something. Technology would be an idea. Technology would be a fairly not bad idea. Jake, support rebels in Shan, and the rebels will go away. Ha! Brilliant. of my own, but I'm not worried about those. Gee, I didn't realise their capital was three as well. Okay. These sieges are going to be slow going because I can't have a naval blockade in place.
but we'll survive without it. 